I'm in Murcia in southeast Spain. This area produces a lot of fruit and vegetables, even though it's one of the driest in Europe. Crops need a lot of water to grow. For example, this orange requires around 100 litres. How can we continue to ensure regions like this remain productive? I'm here for a meeting of the Shui Project, a four-year international research project trying to answer this question in a practical way. We realise that there is a lot of knowledge and expertise and long-term experience in farms and experimental farms that we didn't exploit it totally. So we try to put together a team of people working in efficient use of water and efficient soil management in different areas in the world. We are covering Europe in different areas, also Israel and colleagues from China in northern and southern China. So the scope is to capitalise on this knowledge with two purposes. One, to try to make an inventory of best strategies and try to do research on how they respond in different environments. On the other side, that's where we are in the Innovation Day of SUI, is try to develop tools with a broader perspective to have individual tools that can help to farmers in different conditions. In Murcia, both farmers and policy makers have become experts at using every drop of water. This water treatment works provides reclaimed water for use in irrigation. It supplements salty water available from aquifers and also good quality water transported hundreds of miles from wetter northwest Spain. Researchers here have been studying how using this reclaimed water affects production and how farmers can mitigate any negative impacts. Here we are in a farm that is being irrigated in the last 15 years with reclaimed water with a successful uh, result, as you can see here, the trees. So the idea is that we work on the different management practices that the growers need to do in order to avoid different problems that comes from the, from the use of these water resources. We want to see the effects on soil and also on the plant. And of course, for the growers, this is a commercial farm at the end of the harvest, on the production. So we have sensor on the soil and we are measuring humidity and also salinity on soil at different depths. Francisco is now carrying out further field experiments in this grapefruit orchard, looking at the benefits of subsurface irrigation by working with a Murthia based company, Azur, which manufactures irrigation equipment for sale worldwide. By installing the drip line underground at a specific depth, um, we avoid the water uh, evaporation from the topsoil. So from the same volume of water applied, we have more volume of water available for the roots of the plant. Um, at the same time, we are directly injecting or applying the water where the root system are located. Farmers in the Murthia region are used to taking on new technology and irrigation techniques. This family farm was one of the first in the region to install drip irrigation, which is now widely used. Recently, farmers here were legally required to install sensors to ensure they use water efficiently. Pues en estos sensores yo obtengo información aparte de temperatura y humedad ambiente. Eh, obtengo información acerca de la humedad volumétrica del suelo y acerca de la conductividad eléctrica del suelo, que esto me ayuda a mí a saber cuándo y cómo tengo que regar. Pablo controls his irrigation system from his mobile phone using apps. These are a routine part of farming in many parts of the world today. The Shue project is drawing to a close. Its key legacy will be a suite of simple to use apps which the project partners have developed to help farmers and policy makers in dry regions use water more efficiently. Basically the app has been designed to have your portable library in your cell phone, 15 key best management practices that are in agriculture that are well known worldwide but sometimes we don't use the same terminology so we put it in as plain language as possible for farmers or even for academics working in a different field. And we put that in three main languages, Spanish, English and Chinese, with an explanation and a further text where you can have examples and another links 
to more technical documentation in open access. Another app, TreeWatt, will help farmers make the best use of limited water in orchards, where a severe drought can destroy years of investment. The model provides two kinds of information. The first one is the, the net irrigation requirement, how much water the, the crop, the tree crop needs to, um, to, to get the maximum production. But in the other way, uh, if you have limitation in the availability of, of the water, the model provides you an uh, optimal irrigation schedule for this amount of water, telling you when uh, and how much water apply in each uh, growth state and the impact on the yield. The potential users of these tools, of course, are the farmer, uh, who needs uh, to, to optimize this uh, limited amount of water, um, but also the water authorities and the planners, because uh, during the drought periods they need to decide how much water to, uh, uh, to provide to this orchard. But um, if they have information about the impact of this limited water supply, they uh, could make a better decision. Helping farmers make better irrigation decisions is also the aim of an app being developed by a startup company to support precision agriculture, providing just the right amount of water that a crop needs in specific conditions. This app will provide irrigation advice not just for each crop and field, but for each area of a field. The field is really not something which is uh, homogeneous. It, is, it has lots of variability, um, really, uh, in terms of uh, environmental conditions and crop conditions. You might be wasting, you might be wasting inputs, for example, giving more water in an area that does not need uh, so much water. Our app goes down, really, to the, you can get the, um, the data and the information for each tree. So in the future, okay, in science fiction, when we will be able to irrigate each tree and there are already research uh, that's working on that, then you'll be able really, uh, based on that, uh, on that app, to yeah, irrigate each tree. So we've gone from understanding the water required to produce an individual fruit to precisely irrigating an individual tree. Exploiting this international expertise will allow local farmers to deliver more crop per drop.